Greetings, this is Dan, a.k.a. River Rat 728 in the state of Maine, just outside of Bangor. Um, this video, I'm doing a, a, a video essentially just showing some of the functions of the radio here, because um, I just recently got it back from Troy Radio Service, and they put the uh, DDS VFO kit in there along with the digital meter. So I already put some labels on there, so now the, uh, uh, the band selector is now RF power. Because uh, with a DDS VFO kit in there, there's no no reason to have um, uh, different band settings because everything can be changed right right through the right through this. You got a frequency counter now too up on the top, and uh, uh, let's see the uh, where is it right there the clarifier. Look at this, you can really really get very very fine tuned with it. You know, so uh, let's see. Try to get that right back onto zero if I can. Come on, go back there. Yeah, so, uh, and, and it's very accurate. What it reads on there is exactly what uh, frequency it's on, you know, all the way to that uh, eighth, uh, one, uh, six, yeah, the eighth digit there. So, I mean, it's pretty, um, uh, pr pretty fine tuned. Um, so, I, uh, there's a button here for direct injection. When the, when the button is out, it's on the uh, microphone over here. Um, when it's uh, clicked in, I don't have one in there right now, and I don't know if I can point this thing out uh, but uh, you see there's a uh, direct injection port right there so I had direct injection uh, a port put into this thing okay uh, let's put that back out uh, let's see uh, you got uh, this one right here which now uh, changes what the um, uh, the meter reads so you can look at voltage And you can uh, uh, look at the S, uh, uh, S meter as well, the microvolts. Uh, let's see. It's, it's just universal in this thing. It's not, it's not going to have an SWR meter in it, but, um, you know, but it does. Uh, it, it displays those because you, do, you don't know what kind of radio is going to be put into it. I like this meter right here because it shows the signal strength and the, uh, well, pretty much that's it. It shows the signal strength. Then when you're keying up, I mean, it, sh you know, it bounces up and down, you know, for the wattage. But anyways, kind of neat. Whoops. I must have bumped that a little bit. Come on. Up. Up. There we go. Whoop. Oh, my goodness. This really, it can be really touchy. Unfortunately, this radio doesn't have a fine tune on it there. So uh, you only have that um, one knob to go by, and it's pretty touchy the way it's set up. Uh, you also have the scan, uh, scan function here. And it'll scan through all the, uh, all the channels. Uh, there, or at least that's why I did. I have it in a scan grouping, so it'll scan all the um, citizen band channels. Uh, take that out, and I just key that for a moment, and that'll stop it from uh, scanning through. Uh, goes quite a long ways there. Um, it goes even beyond channel 40, as you can see. It goes way, way up. You give this one click in, and it'll change it to the uh, 10, 10 spot. So you can really see... Whoops, I don't know what happened right there. Hmm, okay. Oh, I think, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, because I have it set that way. I'm thinking of my other radio, um, but uh, it can go quite a long ways. Um, shoot, what was I going to say? Uh, um, yeah, so if I hold in on it, uh, it gives me some other options here, so I can go into um, VFO mode, and, uh, you know, and this, this can go quite a long ways, too. You know, go. you can really dial in everything that you'd want to with this thing. Um, you can go in between channels as well, and then click it again, you'll be on this one, you'll be going in between channels all the way up through, and it goes way down low too, so, yeah, quite a pretty neat kit. Uh, yeah, and I'm making this video a little bit too long there, but anyways, I just thought I would uh, show some of those uh, features of it. Um, you know, you have, you know, if you know your, you know, what channel you're on when you see frequency, you know, it's uh, pretty neat just how far this thing will go. Like uh, this right there is channel one, you know, and anything below that is uh, lower. And then if you, you know, if anybody got this kit put in, you know, they just stay in channel mode and then they would never have to worry about trying to learn a VFO. You know, you just have what channels you have here. And then, you know, like I say, you start going below, uh, you start going below channel one. And then you see what frequency it is, but I mean, you see it going, you know, going backwards and yeah. Anyways, yeah, kind of, kind of a neat uh, uh, thing to play with. And, uh, and this radio is something I plan on using in the future for some stuff. Um, so, yeah. 
Anyways, I guess that's uh, all I have to show on that. I have this hooked up to a dummy load right now, so, um, you know, on the bird meter, so I, you know, I can't really do a radio check uh, uh, with it, or, uh, uh, you know, the skip has already died out for the day. All right, yeah, over five minutes. Uh, that's all I have to show uh, for right now. Thank you very much for watching, and 7-3.